close your eyes and watch your breath. As the breath comes in, know it's coming in. As it goes out, know that it's going out. In other words, stay with what's happening. Don't let your mind go wandering off to other things that are not happening right now. What you can think about is thinking about how to make the breath comfortable. Try long breathing for a while and see if that, if that feels good. If it doesn't feel good, you can make it shorter. You can try heavier or lighter, faster, slower, deeper, more shallow. How do you find the rhythm and texture of breath that feels good for the body right now? And then keep watch over that, because sometimes the needs of the body will change. Something as simple as this, just the breath, but you begin to realize there's more to the breath than just in and out. You can breathe in with a sense of the energy spreading through the whole body. It's nourishing, it's relaxing, refreshing. And the mind gets a chance to rest as well. It's not busy creating thought worlds about the past or thought worlds about the future. It's just with what's happening right now. Try to keep things simple. It's when you keep things simple that you can boil things, your problems down to their essentials, and so you can really understand them easily. If things get complex in the mind, you have no idea what's happening. It's like a jungle growing in your house. You try to figure out some way to get it out, but it just keeps growing. All these other plants come in, and it's all very complex. But if you just have one plant in the house, you understand it. You can see what it needs, you see what it produces for you. If it's a plant that produces poison, you throw it out. Find another plant that's better, that actually produces fruit or produces leaves that you can eat. Something that gives you benefit. The same with the thoughts in the mind. If you have lots of thoughts coming in all at once, you have no idea which ones are poisonous, which ones are good, because it's all a jungle. And the roots start intertwining, and it's very difficult to get one of them out without pulling out an awful lot of others. But if you keep things simple, okay, then it's very easy to see what's going on. This plant is going to produce poison. Okay, Take it out. In other words, any thoughts that are going to lead to greed, aversion, or delusion, or come from greed, aversion, and delusion, and create more trouble in your life and trouble for others, Okay, you can throw those out. And at the same time, you're developing good qualities in the mind. Mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind. Alertness, the ability to know what's actually going on, particularly what you're doing and the results that you're getting from what you're doing. When the mind is a jungle, you don't see these things clearly, but as things get weeded out, simplified, then it's a lot easier to figure out what's good in the mind, what's not good in the mind. And you can s strengthen what's good and cut off the the food supply for what's bad. That way your mind gets more under your control. And when your mind is under your control, it means your life is more under your control as well. Because the mind is the source of all your actions, and your actions shape everything that you experience, everything you do. Everything you come in, that comes in from outside comes from your actions. It's shaped by your actions as well. We may not re realize how much it is. But the way you think about things, the way you choose this to think about or that not to think about, that shapes your experience, and that's going to shape what you do in the world outside, and that's going to come back at you more. So your actions are like radio waves that go out and then they bounce back. So you want to make sure that what's bouncing back is good. So keep things simple inside so you can see what's actually going on. Straighten things out. That way life becomes a lot easier, and it goes more and more in the direction you want it to go.